How y'all doing today? CJ here. Uh, I've got a great video for you today. I'm going to show you how to turn your articles into videos using completely free tools. Uh, very, very simple. Most of these tools are actually already on your computer. Okay? And I'm going to show you how to make a really nice video that you can upload to YouTube, Metacafe, uh, and all the other video sharing sites. Now, um, there are some websites out there that will automate this process for you, uh, but they kind of just uh, use a robot to read your article, and I don't find that attractive. Um, I would rather set my article to music uh, and make it really, really nice looking so that uh, folks really want to read it and take action at the end. So let's get right into it. The two tools that you're going to need are uh, Windows Paint and uh, Windows uh, Movie Maker. And both of these are probably already on your computer. If they're not, uh, you can just do a search engine search uh, for a free download Windows Movie Maker. Uh, and you can find the Microsoft site and go ahead and download it. Alright, if you have Windows 7 or Windows Vista, like I do, uh, you'll probably need Windows Movie Maker 2.6. So, the very first program we're going to use is Windows Paint. Usually that's in your accessory section here. And there's mine, okay. And here, here's what it's going to look like when you open it up, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take an article and we're going to create slides. Now you can use PowerPoint to do this, but I actually you like Paint. I think it's a lot easier. Now I've got my article here um, in Notepad. I've got it set up and ready to go. Just an article about I wrote to promote a uh, ClickBank product I was selling a while back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy the title of my article and I'm gonna make my first slide. All you really want to do is to create a text box here where you want the title of your article to go. So I'm going to kind of center mine and I'm going to paste it in. Now you can uh, change the font, you can change the text color, you can change the background color of the slide. Uh, okay, it's completely up to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this font a little bit bigger. Maybe 28 I guess is good. And I'm going to change it to blue. Okay. Once I center the uh, text box, get it where I want it to be. Um, I'm going to save my slide. That's it. That's the first slide. It's the title of my article. It's done. Uh, I'm going to save it as a JPEG picture. Um, now you want to save these slides in sequential order. Okay, that's very important. I'm just going to save it as A1, and I'll save it right on my desktop. I'll create a new project, all right, and this is going to be my first paragraph of my article. It's going to be slide number two. Again, I'm going to create a text box where you want your uh, paragraph to go. I'll change it to blue and uh, move this around a little bit, get it where I want it to be. Uh, okay, done. Again, we'll save it as a JPEG, and we'll save this as A2. All right. Let's make a uh, third slide. New product uh, project. Grab the third uh, paragraph of your article. Put a text box in here. Go ahead and paste it in change the color All right, get it to where you want it to be okay that looks good and there's slide three that's paragraph three save it as a JPEG and we'll call it a three all right I need to see where I'm going with this you, you're gonna do this until you obviously have your whole article completed and turned into slides all right, now we don't need paint anymore the second uh, program we're going to use is Windows Movie Maker. All right, now this is this is actually fun. Okay, uh, very very simple. New prod project, and 
you're going to import pictures and all you're going to do here is hold down the control button and select all of the slides that you just created okay uh, and import them all right um, I have some stuff in here from another video that I made but uh, let me uh, go ahead and kind of get rid of all of that and then I will um, import uh, those, those slides again so that we're working with just what we need here okay there's my three slides all I need to do now is select them and drag them down into the video timeline now I have all of my slides down here okay and if I were to click play it would play my slides for five seconds a piece and you can adjust that time later okay as you can see it played them all for five seconds a piece um, in order to adjust that time and the reason why you're gonna want to adjust these times is because if you have a paragraph that's longer than others uh, you're gonna want to give your uh, readers enough time to get through it so let's say I want to take this third paragraph here uh, this third slide and I want to make it play for 10 seconds instead of 5 very simple I'm just gonna get on the end here till I get this double red arrow and drag it up to 10 seconds or as close to 10 seconds as I can get there all right very simple it didn't take that time okay there we go now it's 10 seconds so now my third slide is gonna play uh, for 10 seconds instead of five okay once you've loaded in all your slides there are other things that you can do uh, for instance uh, the transition from slide to slide you can add different effects let's say that when it changes slides I want to have this checkerboard effect here all right very simple you just click view uh, video transitions uh, and you're gonna you're gonna select the one you want drag it down in between the slides that you uh, want it to change from so let's say I'm gonna use this checkerboard uh, to change all of my slides let me show you what it would look like okay so play the first slide here for five seconds and watch how it changes see how that how nice that is you've got that little text effect in there um, now you can you can do the you can add these you can use I like to use the same effect throughout the whole article but that's entirely up to you you can also add video effects um, if you want it something like fade in you can it'll it'll kind of fade in like this I usually don't use these for my articles I kind of keep it simple and, and just use the transitions but again that's up to you um, so now that I've got all of my slides in here and I've got all my effects in and uh, it, it's changed the length of the slides to what I want them to be I'm going to add some music to the article very simple now you're going to need some royalty free clips okay you can't just put uh, your you know your your favorite uh, Michael Jackson song or uh, uh, Pearl Jam song or something like that in there because that would be a copyright violation you know you need to get what's called royalty free clips and I'm actually uh, selling a package of a hundred of them uh, you can pick it up underneath this video I purchased them a while back and figured I'd set you up um, that way and that's usually where I use I get my music from um, you're just gonna come up here and click import audio or music now um, again I've listened to most of these slides 101 sli uh, clips in here rather I'm gonna choose clip 96 and what it's gonna do is it's going to import the clip into my uh, collection area again you're just gonna drag the uh, music clip down into the audio area and it's gonna drop it in now you don't want your clip to start here you want it to start at the beginning so kinda of mouse over it hold down your left mouse button and push it back to the beginning so that it starts at the beginning of your article now again it's too long so very easy get these double arrows here and just drag the clip to the end of your article okay now we don't just want the music to end abruptly right 
So right click and select fade out. Very, very simple. So now I've got my whole article in there. I've set it to music. And again, you can, if you uh, have a longer article, you can copy and paste the same clip throughout. You can add different clips. I usually use two or three different clips because the clips usually run about 30 to 45 seconds. Um, sometimes more, sometimes less. So now we've got this whole process completed. Okay, Now it's time to turn the article into a video. This is really simple. This is where the magic happens, folks. You're just going to click Save to My Computer. All right. You're going to type in a file name. I'll call it uh, Article. And here you can choose a place to save your movie. I'll just save mine to the desktop. Click Next. Now, very, very important, okay? If you select best fit to file size it's going to turn it into a 320 by 240 video you, you don't want that for YouTube you want to click best quality for playback on my computer okay 640 by 480 pixels that's what you want that's the best uh, size for YouTube okay and it's gonna be about 1.96 uh, megabytes but it'll most likely be smaller than that it's going to turn it into a WMV or Windows Media Video file, which is very easily uploaded to YouTube. I'm just going to click Next, and as you can see, it's converting. Now, this depending on the speed of your computer, it'll take uh, a few seconds to a few minutes, uh, depending on how long your article is. This was a 17-second video clip, and it took about... 15 seconds or so, uh, 15 to 20 seconds to convert to a video. Right? It's done. So when I click finish, it's going to go ahead and play my clip for me. Now you can't hear the music playing, but it is playing. And as you can see, you can see how it changes from slide to slide. All right, very very cool, very simple. Now this is already to uh, add to YouTube all right very 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 easy right? that's all there is to it folks that's all you have to do you don't have to pay 30 to 40 bucks a month to have some robot read your article you can do it all on your computer takes about once you start to get good at this it'll take you about 10 15 minutes to do up a, a 500 word article okay Again, you can use PowerPoint, you can use anything you want to create these slides. I like Windows Paint. All right, I hope you learned from this. Uh, again, the royalty-free clips are available for you beneath the video. So have everything you need uh, to go ahead and rock and roll and start uh, creating some awesome uh, videos from your articles. All right, thanks for watching, and have a good day.